How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at some actual builds from some actual subscribers, not just wheels and some springs. No, we're talking about actual builds. And if you sent it to me and you put respect all builds and your shit ain't a build, I'm putting you on blast. I'm telling you right now, you are going on blast and all of my subscribers are going to laugh at you. Anyways, today we're looking at subscriber submitted builds. Um, if you guys want to send your send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. But also, if you want to support the channel, pick up some merch. We just came out with some beautiful flock race racing merch brand new if you want to do some some 40 rolls with the boys look at that you got 40 roll on the back what about some 60 rolls drew well we got that too sweaters t-shirts stickers go get them link in the description down below uh we have a discount code race use it it's limited so go right now i'm telling you do it i'm, I'm your father now do it now okay let's go ahead though and dive into some builds like i said if you sent me shit and you put respect all builds in the subject bar and you don't have an actual build I'm putting you on blast. All right, first one. This one says respect all builds. Sub build battle. So he's got two. All right. So um, he doesn't show a car. It's an 03 7.3 engine. Okay. What? Oh, it's a fucking. It's a truck. It's a truck. Okay. First thing is a truck. A neon green truck too. Wow. Okay. So I mean, we'll look at his build list in a second because he he has quite the the damn uh, news article on it. But um. Yeah, he's got a truck. Okay, he's got a little, like, rear bed side exhaust. I don't know what it's called in a truck, in the truck scene. I'm not a trucker. I don't got, I, don't, I ain't a truck. I don't, I don't fuck my sister like that. I ain't a trucker. I'm sorry. Uh, my cousin ain't my, my first wife. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it's cool. But let's see if his build means anything to us. Car enthusiasts. Um, it's an 03 7.3 engine, PD diesel turbo thruster 2, Banks intercooler fuel lab, regulated return, SMB cold air intake, pure power injectors. His transmission is a RevMax built trans, yada, yada, yada. Driveline is a USA standard 5 point, my bad, 4.56 gears. Driveline specialties drive shaft, cool. Other mods, he's got a stabilizer kit, Fox dual stabilizers. He's got an 8 inch lift. He's got a lot of stuff in there and it looks like he's got some um, some audio system in there as well. So you know what? I'll give you props. You did more than just wheels and a lift kit. I mean, I don't know if I'd really go off-road in those wheels, but it looks like you are, so that's great for you. But uh, it looks like a pavement princess. It's not, because, I mean, I see mud splattered up on your truck, unless you're out there fucking throwing rocks at your truck. Uh, it, it doesn't look like you are, so that's good. Thumbs up for now. For now. All right, next one. It says he's a longtime subscriber. Let's take a look. All right, we got an old 8.6, which is cool if you're a weeb. Nah, they're cool cars. Um, I drove Rob's over there at Sideways Performance. He has an 8.6, the coupe just like this, and it, it was fun. It's like, it's pretty much a big go-kart. Like, it feels like that. I don't know if it's because his was just more rattly, too, but it seems like a pretty big go-kart. Now, he has a AE86 Alteza out with some old and with the new. It looks like he's doing some sort of uh, subframe or crazy, just like swapping all the suspension. I'm not in the 8.6 scene, so I don't know exactly what all of this is, but it's never a bad idea to take these older cars and almost resto mod them and bring them into the newer era. You know, the old stuff works, but it could work way better. His exterior, though, looks very clean. White paint. He's got some wide body flares. He's got his wheels sticking out. He's got some crazy deep dish wheel in the rear. It's cool. You're missing a turn signal here or something, um, but it's not over the top, which I like. Thumbs up. All right, next one says respect all builds. Okay. Oh. This is a new sight to me. I don't think I've ever seen a GT86 on a beadlock with a skinny up front. I have never seen that in my life. That is a, a pretty sight to see. With a boosted V8 underneath the hood? What lunatic built this car? Some crazy person has a death wish out there. I thought the Supra felt sketch at speed. I could only imagine what this stubby little GT86 feels like on 150. Uh, white rice and to throw it in there throw in all the rice throw it all in he's got a parachute on the back too not only do you have your gt86 on a beadlock with slicks with skinnies up front with a boosted ls underneath the hood but you have a fucking parachute sticking off the back i actually haven't confirmed if it's an ls underneath the hood or not but still you guys are getting what i'm saying some dude's crazy and i fucking support it Looks like he's got carbon panels too. Texas, people in Texas just out there living life, man. I need to go to Texas ASAP. 
This thing looks crazy. We don't get shit like this here in California. You know what we get? We get clapped out GT86s, clapped out FRSs, stock FRSs pulling up, fucking flexing, thinking they're the shit. Nothing quite as cool as this. This gets two thumbs up from me. His build list, it's a 408 and it has a 4L80 transmission, Holly Dominator, Holly screen, Plasma Man intake, 88 millimeter comp oilless turbo. Those are like, I think that's comp's newer turbo too. It has like some crazy NASA grade like lube in there or grease that heats up with the turbo and it's crazy shit. Uh, if, that's, if that's the right turbo I'm thinking of. Granis 8.8 .8 rear end, sweet drive shaft, shop axles and drive shaft, custom chromoly cage, rear tubs and firewall. Makes about a thousand wheel horsepower on dyno. Still need to get it dialed in for the track. This thing is a freaking monster. That is fucking sweet, man. Congrats. All right, yeah, that was a really good one. I, d I did like that one a lot. Okay, let's see this one. This one says respect all builds. Here we go. We got a GTI Volkswagen here. We got the sucker mom car. Sweet, stock wheels, awesome. Got the red painted brake calipers, dope. Still, still on stock wheels. Okay, blurry ass photo, love that. Um, so, so far, I ain't seen much, which could be a good thing. If he submitted this as a build, I'm assuming then most of his build is underneath the hood. In the first photo, I did see a giant front mount intercooler, which I thought was really cool. That's great. Love it. Thumbs up. I also love the T-bolt clamps with the nice silicone couplers. Great. You don't want to use China stuff. That looks like, uh, I don't know what brand that is. It's, it's not HPS, but it looks nice. Good stuff. Um, but let's take a look at his build. Um, I'm trying to see if I spot anything else. I don't. I don't think that's his blow-off valve. That looks like a horn or something. No, it's horns over there. So I don't know what the fuck this is. Some EGR shit probably, but cool. I wish he showed an engine bay shot, but let's see. Let's read his description and let's see if it's worth what he's uh, proposing here. So it's a stage two OTS Eurodyne, DSG tuned Eurodyne as well. ARM or ARM front mount intercooler, custom down pipe, uh, 034 turbo inlet and slash hoses, RS3 coil packs. Oh, I fucking need some coil packs for the super. Thanks for reminding me. I got to place that order. Um, HPFP E30 blend 93, and it makes about 420 wheel horsepower. That's, that's really respectable for that car. For something that looks like you're dropping off your kid at soccer practice, really respectable i'm sorry i'm not res i do not like how these look if you like hatches cool there are cooler looking hatches other than this like look at this fucking egg i'm tired of looking at these things but 420 wheel horsepower sounds like a lot of fun you get 75 percent thumbs up just because i don't like the car 500 wheel horsepower eclipse that's a bold title let's see if it fits hey look that looks like the nitrous bottle that's over there looks identical probably the same size like an eight pounder tiny little bottle cool though underneath the hood we have the 16 valve mitsubishi motor with a turbo sitting up front you got a filter on it which is a thumbs up already that's a good look i don't like how your damn coolant hoses look they look like something on a fucking propane tank i just i'm not a fan of that style also looks like a damn nightmare there's like shit going everywhere you need to do some some man of your vacuum lines and stuff look at this bunched up shit over here it looks disgusting oh god all right so let's let's move on it looks like he has a nitrous fogger system i'm seeing that on the front of his intercooler very helpful with his bumper on it also looks way better and that hood just complements it as well the rear of these cars they just they look like wannabe supras uh, which is cool but i actually saw one on the freeway yesterday funny enough and i was like oh look supra it wasn't a Supra. I hate that fucking steering wheel. I don't mind the shift knob. I also fucking hate whatever this is on your dash. But all right, pretty cool. If this thing actually makes 500 wheel horsepower, that's really cool. I wonder how long it'll last. Place your bets down in the comments down below. You get a 75% thumbs up. He's on 18 PSI with headers, fuel system, NOS wheels, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Next one, respect all builds was the subject bar. And so far, you ain't gonna get much respect. Let's just say in this first photo, I'm seeing a carbon hood, some wheels, and some little things here and there. Nothing crazy. The next photo, good, you're filling up, but guess what? It ain't even a yellow pump. You know what that lets me know? You ain't even on E85, losing respect day by day. And then we see a nice size turbo. We have a fucking cold air intake as low as possible to suck up all of the water. Smart man, genius. Um, it will suck in some really cold air, but you better hope it's really dry where you live. This is the 2.0, as you can count, there are only four coil packs right here, so four cylinder. He also has some gold tape protecting some stuff. Um, I at first was gonna knock him for protecting what looks like a fuse box, but it is really close to the turbo, so you know what, I'll let it slide. Um, he has some gold tape on his inlet pipe here, makes sense. And then he has his blow off valve as close to the throttle body as possible. Very smart, I'm not being sarcastic, that's actually where you want it, you want it as close as possible. So he's got some stuff going on, let's see his description. It's a 2013 Genesis Coupe 2.0. Great, you let me know everything about the build. If you're gonna submit something for respect all builds, please, 
include a good detailed description of your car at least something let me know how much horsepower it's making let me know how much boost just something next car is a 180 sx sweet and this one it looks like it's on some te37s very classic wheel it got some bride seat low maxes inside awesome right hand drive who doesn't love that you got a nice fart can sticking out underneath underneath the hood not stock at least it doesn't appear to be stock which is great the exterior on this car is just very clean. Like, I can really respect the paint. I can really respect that he didn't fucking camber it out and slam it to the floor. I love that. I don't know if I could respect the fake carbon fiber little panels. I don't, I don't know about that. You're losing some respect there. But he got a... Looks like a Nardi wheel, which is sick. And then some other little fucking gadgets here and there. I don't know what half these things... Like, what? what is this up here? What, what, what are these things? What? What is this? I like it. It's a very clean example of a 180SX that hasn't been fucking destroyed by some fucking cringy-ass dance kid yet. And I love that. So let's read his description. He has a groupie, <laughs> groupie M, group M. I'm not going to read that. Um, his model list has a lot of stuff on it. It seems like a lot of just bolt on stuff. He didn't go really crazy with it, which is fine. Um, no one's forcing you to go ahead and throw a thousand horsepower air car. So if you want to take a look at his mod list, it's right here. I'm not going to list everything, but a few of the things include some Spitfire coils. He's got R32 GTR5 lug rotors and calipers. He's got a gritty wing, yada, 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 blitz intercooler, some cool stuff. But nothing crazy and see that that's how you do it next build is a 2010 audi a4 2.0 turbo quattro sick first photo he's showing us hey this ain't no stock lease it's a build he has the hood up you can see the intake you can see a lot of carbon fiber like everywhere which is sick and uh for the most part it just looks relatively clean his exterior is going for what looks like a murdered out look. He's got the black on black, and it looks really sleek. It looks like his buddy, too, is going black on black. Uh, the building behind him is going black on black. The walls back there are going black on black. The sky is almost black on black. And then uh, the oil coming out underneath this car is definitely black on black. This is the wagon model, so it has that long, thick booty. His mods include a brand new T3 turbo, a CTS turbo intake, carbon accessories from ECS tuning, Maxim, no. bigger Bosch injectors, a full honeycomb grill set, yada, yada. Yada, yada, stop tech drilled and blah 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 rotors you know you guys know the whole drill okay he's at jimmy john's not only is this thing a build but you can go get some sandwiches in it which is great he does not list how much horsepower it's making but um he's got a lot of supporting upgrades so that way his, his car will stay running healthy which is great semi you know i'll give you another 75 percent thumbs up that's cool all right we got to respect all build submission that i'm not sure is going to meet the quota so let's take a look we have a Miata ND. I'm not even seeing wheels on this build. I, I see he removed the, the removable hard top, and I do love how the ND looks, but it ain't gonna cut it. It looks like he upgraded wheels in the second photo. He does have some red lug nuts. That way, anyone who's trying to steal his wheels know exactly where to put their wrench to take them off. Perfect. The ND is my favorite Miata. I'm gonna say it. It is my favorite. If I were to buy a Miata, I'm buying an ND. It is happening. Well, it's not happening, but if I was, it would be happening. But I don't think wheels is a build. So let's read his fucking description and let's see what else he did. Because the wheels and lowering it and making it look cool, that's not a build. Sorry. Just wanted to reach out about my build. I have a 2017 Mazda Miata RF that I have been building for, you know, I've always liked the clean aesthetic and I think my build reflects that. Lack of mods and clean aesthetic are not the same. You decide. I wouldn't mind being on Rice Rest Submission if you think it's appropriate, yada, yada, yada. So all I see in his photos is wheels and a fucking wing or duck tail. And although it is clean, that is not a build. Everyone go roast him in the comments right now. Ruthlessly. Okay, not ruthlessly, but you could say a joke or two. Go ahead. Be nice. All right, last car. We have a Mitsubishi Evo. Finally, something decent. It's, a, it's an Evo 10. It has 460 all-wheel horsepower on E65 and 400 all-wheel horsepower on 93 octane. It has an ETS intake. Uh, intercooler piping is a four inches. ETS downpipe, ultimate racing catback, and a Garrett 3576 68 millimeter ball bearing turbo. And just like the other Mitsubishi, underneath the hood looks like an absolute nightmare to work on. I fucking do not wish I owned this. It probably is fun to drive, but just point out what I'm supposed to do here if I want to access something, you know? How would I even access my exhaust header? It's uh, way over there. Uh, not gonna happen. At least your fuel rail is pretty up front. You know, that's cool. So, and I see it's radium too. Thumbs up for that. Also has his blow off valve underneath the hood. So, his blow off valve and his fuel rail, very easy to access. Everything else fucked. He's on Enki Kojin 18 by 8.5 wheels. 
He's on stock suspension, but he claims it will be upgraded soon. A gritty front lip, painted stock projector headlights. And it does look very cool because it's just like a nice black on black look. Thumbs up for that. Good builds this episode. Um, the good the thumbs ups all around. Thank you guys so much for submitting your car. If you want to have your car in one of these episodes, your build, I should say, go and put in the subject bar, respect all builds, and it should end up in one of these episodes. Subscribe to see more videos like this one, guys. Please pick up some merch. Okay, I'm broke. I need to modify my cars. The Mustang one was on Dino today. I should be picking it up tomorrow or today. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.